We're here with Conor Burns. We're watching the Tyson Fury's defense of his Commonwealth heavyweight title against Nevin Pajic. Hey, Conor, how do you think Tyson's going to do tonight? I think he should beat this fellow in the first or second round. If he doesn't, well, there, there should be more money than Tyson should be doing all after. But now he probably should be watching this here. Is because Freddy's coming up the 18th. And I'm going to knock Paddy the same thing that he's going to do in here. What Tyson's going to do there, Nevin? Oh, aye. Now, there's, an, there's another guy fighting here on the undercard, um, Chris Eubank Jr. How do you think he's going to do tonight? He's going to win every point that is in it. Every point? Okay, no problem, Connor. We'll catch up with you a little bit later um, as the fight kicks on, okay? Now, Connor, we've just watched um, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, win his first um, fight. How'd you make of the fight? I thought he was magnificent tonight. He done well. And he's he's made his whole fans proud, and he's done everything with his brothers. Been asking him in the back of the change room and all, and he's come out. He done well. He's fair play to him. But at the end of the day, is the other guy didn't deserve to win the belt, but the other guy should have beat Chris Eubank. But Chris Eubank. Should have, should have been the third, third round, of, or should have beat him on the third, fourth round on. But at least he got the point. At least he got the points anyway, guys. And, and see, see if he had been me or something to Jim. He would have worked with me. But I, 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 I want to show Chris Bank a whole lot of um, training sessions, boxing, you name it. But for a player, Chris Bank, well done. Now, Chris Eubank Sr. thinks that um, Chris Eubank Jr. was dangerous and he's going to win a world title. What do you make of that? That let me go on. Let me go on see him doing all that. But I, I just want to see Chris Eubank knock out a few fouls that's going to take a pass. But, as he said there, Chris Eubank dot com. Just all them lads. And tennis lads. He's a good fighter. But I, I'll show him what I made of whenever it comes to Freddy the 18th class. And I tell you, you just don't know what, what's out there for you. There's boxing, there's everything out there, lads. Fucking join up and fucking go to the gyms. Chris Eubank even says on the line on the TV, he says, uh, he, he wanted to beat him on the fourth round, he even said that. So. Okay, now, um, Paddy, this is the way we can, Chris Eubank said to me on now, he says, Paddy, go and be a Paddy Barnes, and you, you only have one thing to only for, so if you want that, it's coming to me. That's good as face. Now, um, after you, be, if you, you, you think you're going to be a Paddy Barnes, and after you, you be a Paddy Barnes, there's a couple of people that, that have contacted me, and said they would like to fade you after them, and one of them would be Big Game and McGill. Now, Eamon McGill, he's 15 stone, he's, he's, had about, he's had about six fights, he's won them all um, quite comfortably. Would you be confident in fighting Eamon McGill? Oh, uh, I'd be easy to beat Eamon McGill in those fights. What, what do you think his weaknesses are? I thought his weaknesses are really, really bad at the moment. What is his weaknesses? <laughs> and Polly Barnes, I knocked, knocked him out in the first round or second round. But, that's what I'm saying is, for a of piss, he's a gentleman, he deserves to win. What belt is there to win? Every belt that's in Polly's house is coming in. And I'd be taking every trophy off him, taking every medal and his belts off him, and he'd not have nothing to say for it. Okay, Connor, thank you. We'll catch up a little bit later. Um, we're just going to watch Tyson Fury fit here, okay? Thank you. Connor, how do you think um, Tyson Fury get on tonight? He done brilliantly, and I swear to God, he, he done magnificent for his fans, he done for everybody else. But the other fellow didn't want to know, he's getting tired and tired every time he watched him. Uh, Tyson Fury, went down the first call for, for a title him back up again, give him his love as the referee. But, what can I say? What do you think of his hand speed and his job? He just, his job is magnificent. I watched him, he done a ring of the ass, and he talked. Okay. <laughs> now, um, at the end of the fight, Tyson went to hug Nevin Pavic, and Nevin Pavic 
was reluctant to hug him back. What do you think about that? That was bad sportsmanship. Uh, I, hope, I, hope, bad. I hope I don't see us when Paddy tries to hug him. It was bad in the second round there. And it should have been stabbed. It should have been done. He should have knocked him down on the ground. But he, he done it twice. So Tyson Fury, well done. Fair play to the guy. He just had his belt. He keeps his belt. But what, he, what more can he do? He wants more people to fight. Knock people out. But, as I'm saying, is Fury, he done, well, he done well. And he should come up to my fight on Friday night the 18th. That's what I'm saying. Is, to watch my fate, they have Paddy Barnes. Tell me what they made do. Okay, now um, in the second round, Tyson Fury got knocked down. How do you feel about that? I, f I felt bad to remember Fury, Jason Fury, Jason Fury knocked down the second, second round. But he, sh he, showed, he showed everything that he had. And, um, and he done it. He did. He, p he picked himself up in the third round and then he ended up going on to win. By a knockout on the third round, two minutes and forty-four. So it was a good win. Um, when do you think Tyson will be back in Belfast? He'll be back in Belfast in no time. No time, no problem. Well, Connor, it was good chatting to you, and it just see there. There's a couple of bottles of Budweiser. there. You're not drinking, are you? Yeah. You are drinking. Are you not training for the North Belfast title? Yeah. And how do you think beer is gonna f help you? I'll just get on with it, so I will. Is this like your cheat day, like you train all week and you have a drink at the weekend? Or is this, do you drink, do you drink every night there? No, I'll we'll have a drink at the weekends, but Friday night I'll be having a night after my fight if I want. Bad point against Polly Barnes, if I don't win, fuck it. But Polly Barnes, I want to be at Polly Barnes down on one, second or third round. Now, I know there's a lot of bad blood between you and Polly Barnes. Do you think after the fight you will shake hands or will you just hug or will you just hate each other for the rest of your lives? Hate each other for the rest of our lives and walk out of each other's lives for good. And, and do I don't care what he fucking says. But let him keep fucking mumbling on but I'm not fucking listening to him any longer. I th uh, well people have said he mumbles because he was fighting that chink out of Wei Ping in Beijing and he was mumbling people couldn't understand him. I don't know. Probably deserved to be beaten but I can't see I can't see any longer whether Paddy Barnes wins the next fight he goes in the Olympics, but hope he does be beaten by Eubank, Chris Eubank Jr. or Tyson Fury. No problem. Well, Connor, thanks very much for talking to us again, and you enjoy your drink, and we'll, we'll wish you all the best for next Friday night, okay? Oh, well.